Lunders. I call Alistair Scott. Well, what a lot of pious, sanctimonious commentary in the last couple of minutes from uh, Ms Moroni that she knows best. She knows what she knows what self-employed people would prefer. They're self-employed because they want to be self-employed. They're independent of, of, of other employers. They want to go out and work for themselves. They want to take the risk and better themselves and their families. And at some point, they will have to take a, make, they, they do. People make a sacrifice when they start out in business. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. So let's imagine there's a builder who's who's enjoying part of this construction boom that we are in, the biggest construction boom that we have had ever. More apprentices in the construction boom than ever. More money in construction building houses than ever. So we've got a young fella and he wants to set up his own business. He wants to be one of these self-employed people that Sumeroni wants to protect. But, and so he goes out and he decides that he wants to set up a business He's not, he hasn't done it a lot, he hasn't done many houses himself on his own bat because he's a, he's, a, he's a journeyman. So he contracts, he writes a contract with someone who wants to build a house and he makes a few mistakes and he takes a bit longer than, he would, than, his, uh, than his uncle or his father or, or, or the people before him. And he, heaven forbid, heaven forbid, he doesn't, not only does he get less than 15, 25 an hour, not only does he get, he, might, he gets less than zero. He might lose money on that contract. He might lose money on that contract because he's starting out and he's taking a risk and he wants to give things a go. But he's learnt from that. He's learnt from that mistake. And then he goes out again and he doesn't give up. He gives, an, he gives it another go. Now just imagine, just imagine if that poor fella, according to Sumer only the poor fella, but I say good on him, just imagine if he was obliged to be paid 15.25 an hour. Just imagine if he went to his, uh, the, 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 the customer, which is, which is what it is, on a fixed, term, a fixed contract for a house, a price, and he said, I'm sorry, mate, I've taken a bit longer than I expected. I'm sorry uh, it rained for a week and I couldn't put the concrete pad down. Uh, and I'm sorry uh, that, you know, and I'm sorry, I, I, the law says I deserve 15, 25 an hour. Now, what is the, what is the, what is the uh, person who wants that house built going to say to him? He's saying, sorry, man, I'm not going to reference you. You haven't done the, build you haven't done the building on time and at the right price. You are going out of business. So that's just an example. So my point here, Ms Maroney, is that there's confusion on your side of the house that you don't understand the difference between a minimum wage, an employee-employer relationship, and a contracting relationship, where one pays for services. And it doesn't matter how long one takes to complete the job, they get paid for the job. Whether it's uh, pruning a row in a vineyard or painting a house, it's not about the time that you take, it's about the job that you complete. And if you can do it faster, if you can do it more efficiently, good on you, you will get paid very well. But if you don't, I'm sorry, you, you, that is right, but it's for you to decide how fast and how slow you go. And we heard, you were there, Miss Moroni, you were there listening to people who said, who, who deliver pamphlets, who said, we do not want to support this bill because we will be out of a job if this bill is passed. Because we want to take our time. This is a social occasion. We want to walk and take our time and walk the dog and talk to our, to our friends. And, in the, and, and while we're doing that, we can be paid something for delivering these pamphlets. And we know that if we make the employer pay those people 15 25 which they have no interest in receiving because they want to take their time doing it, uh, they will not be in a job. They will not be, not be in a job. So there's, there's a confusion between the minimum wage which I absolutely support. The minimum, minimum wage at 15.25 is not what this is about. It is not what this is about. But a lot of the speakers on your side have talked about the minimum wage. Uh, Waipareri Trust was talked about. Mr Hinare was talking about increasing uh, the, the trust was paying a, a, a living wage, I guess $19 an hour. Good on them. Fine. Go for your life. Pay the people whatever you like. 
but this is about contractors and contracting for service. Now, the only way we're going to increase minimum wage, and I agree, we want, we want the minimum wage to be higher. We want people to be paid more. But the only way we are going to get paid, people paid more is if we uh, become more productive, more efficient, we export more stuff, we sign tr free trade agreements. This is what takes for minimum wages to be raised. You can't legislate for it. You've got to support water storage projects. You've got to en encourage people to say, yeah, we want irrigation. We want these, these that's your, they're, they're your partners. They don't want water storage projects. These are the things that we must do to raise living standards in this country. That is the only way you're going to raise the minimum wage. You cannot legislate. You cannot legislate for a minimum wage just like that. It doesn't happen like that. See, this is the benefit of being in opposition. You can shoot from the hip, you can say all these things, hit, make a headline, and, uh, but there's no consequence for the opposition, is there? They don't have to deliver. They don't have to deliver on the other side. They can say, uh, let's, let's, uh, as, as, as this bill is about, let's make everyone 15, 25 an hour, whether you're slow, you're far. I mean, how fair is paying 15.25 in, in the pamphlet uh, example, if someone takes a long time and then you've got some young fellow on a bike and he delivers those things at twice the speed. That's not fair. That's not fair on the guy who ends up making 16 or $17 an hour. So that's, so that's the, that is, that is the point. The, the, there's only one way to increase minimum wage and I agree, the target, the aim on both sides of the house is to, uh, increase minimum wage, standards of living, call it what you like, of all New Zealanders. But the benefit, the, benef the, the uh, advantage, I guess, for the opposition is that they don't have to think about the consequences of their policies. So again, they don't have to think about, they don't have to think about free tertiary education, which just is, who pays for that? It doesn't matter, it's bums on seats, everyone's entitled to free education. Here we go again. Uh, we've got 100,000 houses. Where are they going to come from? Who's going to pay for that? Another w badly thought out policy, and again, for the headline, this, this bill is simply for the headlines, and it's a confusion between, I come back to the point, it is a confusion on that side of the House between what we agree is the minimum wage, and, and, and remember, of course, that there are a lot more labour inspectors in the marketplace. So if there is an issue around employer employees, then there are a lot more labour inspectors to, uh, reinf to reinforce the law. I mean, I agree. People should not be taken advantage of. People should not, people should not be paid below 1525 when they are entitled to be paid 1525. But don't go and tell a young fella who wants to get on with it to force him to be paid 1525 when he's quite willing he's quite willing to, he's quite willing to take the risk he's quite willing to work slower he's quite willing to uh, build up a business on his own account and take the risk and even and even make a loss and there's nothing wrong with that and that that is why we cannot support this bill because this bill is trying to fix a problem that simply does not exist this bill is trying to fix the wheel that is spinning very effectively and efficiently today. Members, the question is that the motion be